What you see here is what is the manifestation of a manosphere that is now sometimes blanketed in chauvinism. It's happening. I promise you it's happening. And a hyperfeminism that sometimes can't stand men. And all that you're getting out of this is clashing unhappy women and some of the commentary that you're going to see here is a reflection of the frustration of all of these systems that really don't want to fix the problem, just bashing heads. Let's taste a listen. This is probably reason number 500,000 of why I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that. I don't want to do anything for you. <laughs> I don't want to cook for you. I don't want to clean for you. I don't want to be your secretary and set your appointments and chase you around and make you go because of your health. She I don't want, want to pick up your socks for you. I don't want to be one of those people who comes on TikToks and makes funny videos about how you can't do anything for yourself and men do the darndest things. And everybody you know those people like, exist. yeah, my husband does that too. My boyfriend does that too. Fuck that. I want to be with somebody who is an adult. A fully functioning adult. It's okay, let's pause it for a second. So first of all, she says right off the bat, I'm going to come back to this too. We're going to play the whole thing. She says, I'm fine with that. Fine with being single. She's not. Mm -hmm. She's not fine with it. She's not. You could see right there. If she was fine with it, she wouldn't be doing this video. She wouldn't be doing the video. She would be actually fine with it. She'd be out shopping, doing whatever, not talking, to, not caring. She cares enough to do the video. She's frustrated. She wants a partner. She'd prefer to have a partner. She's not fine being single. Let's get that straight. Let's be real. Girlfriend, you got to be real because if you're going to do these videos, you got to be honest. She's saying she don't want to be your cook. She don't, I don't want to be your cook. I don't want to be your secretary. I don't want to be your housekeeper. I don't want to be a laughing stock that it's like, oh, my husband leaves his dirty socks all over the floor. Now I have to pick them up. So I'm with her to an extent, right? To an extent. Because you don't want, you don't want to mother someone you want someone who cares enough about their own, like I always said, I want like a neat man. I can't have a slob throwing everything all over the floor and all that because I'm not your housekeeper, right? You can't do that. You can't live like that. You'll be resentful. So I understand. I'm with her to a point. She wants you to care about your own health enough that if something feels wrong, you make a doctor appointment. You know, she, she wants some initiative on the part of the man. She wants a fully functioning adult human. I am with her to an extent. However, you're gonna do a relationship right, you're gonna do some of this for your partner. Sometimes I clean up, sometimes my husband leaves his socks on the floor and I pick them up, sometimes I leave my socks on the floor and he picks them up. Sometimes I cook dinner, sometimes he cooks dinner. So don't get lost in the, I don't wanna be your housekeeper, feminist language and lose the fact that a marriage and a good relationship does involve you doing stuff for the other person and them doing stuff for you. You don't want a fully, you don't want a fully functioning roommate. Get a roommate then. You got a partner, then you need a partner. You're in it together. Let's keep rolling. This is good. Again, that men are the ones who benefit from marriage and relationships because we get in them and we do everything and they just get to sit back and receive everything from us. And then as a treat, as a treat, they might do something for our birthday or for Mother's Day. Yeah, so that's not, I don't know who she, again, and this is where it becomes important to say, I don't know who she's hanging out with. Maybe she's got some friends that are in not such great relationships, but to imply that men, you know, that men are the ones that only benefit, that's not fair either. There's a lot of women that get into a manage, marriage and they benefit financially from that situation, right? There's a lot of women that have the opportunity to then say, if I want to have a child, that I can stay home if I want to stay home because you've got a husband there that's working and paying the bills. That does happen. That dynamic does exist. There's a lot of times that you need a guy. You know what? I don't know. Maybe she gets on her ladder and she's fixing everything and she's doing all I know is that there's a lot of ladies around there myself included that when it comes time to hang stuff and fix stuff and the toilet bowl clogs and this that I'm very grateful to have a husband in the house to say babe I don't know what you did to that toilet I will blame him oh I will because nine out of ten times you know it's him that clogged that toilet up but he's also going to fix the big babe I'm not going to get in there okay 
when we had when it was time to do stuff with the with the house that involved anything that I'm not good with that stuff, right? He had the drill, he had the you know it. Don't act like the guys aren't there for anything and not helping out and not doing good stuff to make that situation better. You know it. Okay? This is where the feminist talking points. See, it's getting the best of her. She's frustrated. Okay. Men get to exist in relationships and just receive. Why can't we exist together? And if we do nice things for each other, it's just organic. It just happens. But it's not the expectation. It's not something I have to do because I'm the woman. When I come home after a long day, I don't want to. So what she's saying is, what she's, what she's arguing against are these traditional female and male roles. That's my perception. I'd love to hear it from her mouth directly, but this would be a fantastic guest. I'm not kidding. I could tell. I could just tell. But she's arguing against because you're the woman, you cook and you clean and you do the laundry. And because you're the man, you head off to work and you make the money. That's what she seems to be underlying all this is a frustration with a system. Okay, it's an old system. That's not really how it works today for a lot of women. There's a lot of career women out there. But there's a big difference. There's a big difference here you, in saying like, I want a grown adult who's gonna you know, help me and I'm gonna help them and saying, I want a guy. You, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at, audience? See where she's going with this? Do you see what I'm saying that feminism, that the, the extremes... See what they're doing to women. See what they're doing to men. Got men out there now saying, well, and you're gonna see a video after this that's gonna clarify all this. You've got men out there and they're saying, does she cook? Is she a real woman? Does she cook? That's a problem. You got women out there saying, well, I don't wanna do anything for him. She probably walks into a relationship now with the assumption that she's gonna be a doormat and a slave. Don't do it. Just make better choices. There's a whole bunch of men out there that don't want to leave their dirty socks on the floor for you. They want to be their own person. They want to give and take. Okay. What would what would be something for her to do if she doesn't want to be the breadwinner? She doesn't want to cook or clean or do anything. What would be her role? Like, well, what I'd would be curious. Like, what does you know? she want to do? Does she want to be a career woman? Yeah. Does she want an equal footing in the home? Does she want, um, what, what, what does she define as like a male and a female role? And some of this is like every household will be a little bit different. As an example, and I was gonna give this example to Rolo the other day, I have a, a friend who, and, and you see I'm doing it again, right? There's people at home who say, oh, well, she's bringing up, you know, a, a personal experience. Well, yes, because these people exist and they're a good representation that not everybody fits in the box. I have a friend, she started a skincare business. She and her husband did it together. They started a spa. He ran the books for the first year. He packaged the products. They sold a whole product line. She was the person in front. She did all the facials. They're partners in that business. There's a give and take. Sometimes she's at home. Sometimes he's at home. Sometimes I see her TikTok videos or whatever videos and he's running around the background doing the laundry and all that. Sometimes I, it's the reverse. And you see her you know, making a big meal on a Friday night and that's her day off and she's doing a whole bunch of stuff and he's off handling the business end of the business. That's... That's, that's great, that works for them. So I would be curious to ask somebody like that, what are you looking for? What are you really looking for? Because it sounds like if you don't wanna do anything for him, guess what? He's not gonna wanna do anything for you, right? You said you don't wanna cook, you don't wanna clean, you don't wanna pick up socks, you don't want to, do you want him to pay the bills? I would ask, do, what do you want him to do for you? Because it seems like him buying a nice gift on Valentine's Day, that wasn't satisfying to you, you felt like that was, what do you want him to do for you? Because I, I think it's nice when a man does cook a meal, when a man says, oh, I did this for you. Oh, hey, like when I go home and like there's food on the stove, that is my happiest moment. Cause I hate to cook. Same. Right? It's like, feeling. you're like, I'm eating today. I'm, that's it, I'm, I'm <laughs> set. The food is coming, I'm set, right? So, and I always liked guys that cooked because I hate to cook and I find it like I would rather have a good meal than have a diamond ring. I say that and you're like, well, dad, you have a diamond. I have a wedding ring. You notice I don't have a lot of jewelry going on. That's not my, that's not my thing. I'm not into all that stuff. I'm like, cook me a good meal, like watch a good movie with me. I'm a simple girl from a simple time. I like it that way. <laughs> but if you tell, just be warned, ladies, if you say to a guy, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do all these things for you, <laughs> just be prepared. They're gonna turn around and say, well, I don't wanna do all these things for you either. And then what are you doing? Why bother? 
she sounds bitter. She sounds bitter. Sounds like she went through some shit. <laughs> Honestly, I know it's a judgment, but she does sound like she maybe went a few rounds with a guy who wanted her to be the housekeeper and the cook and all that and just that. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.